First, this general expression satisfy one dimensional Y equation. So let's recall what we did. We start with the physical observation, traveling, and then generalize it. And then we argue that any one dimensional wave can be a right going wave and a left going wave, no limitation. And then we express that as yxt equal g plus h. And we investigate the meaning of gx minus ct by examining spatial waveform harmonic wave. And we found that dispersion relation. And we examine the physical meaning that possesses in the dispersion relation. And then we back to the general expression, one dimensional expression. And then using mathematics, we end up with one dimensional wave equation. What does it mean? So first meaning is any one dimensional wave has to satisfy this wave equation. Okay. In other words, if you want no, you, you can if you want to find out the solution of this one dimensional wave equation, that means this simply means that you are solving this wave equation plus boundary condition. This wave can satisfy this wave equation, but I want to select the solution that satisfies the governing equation as well as satisfying the boundary condition. There is a typical boundary value problem. Okay? But this course is not mathematics course, so I'm not going to explain details about solving boundary value problem or partial differential equation. But that does not necessarily mean that you have to understand the partial differential equation in every aspect. Right? If you do have some good background in partial differential equation, that will be very helpful. But I will cover the least part that are associated with the partial differential equation in this lecture. And there are many different boundary conditions. For example, when this guy holds this position, the boundary condition at this point is what? No displacement. Right? When I oscillate this, the boundary condition at this point is what? I am exerting some displacement, or maybe I can say that I'm exerting some force over here. Okay, or maybe I am giving two displacement as well as a force or together. For example, you can, for, for example, for example, this kind of boundary condition, or some boundary condition that we oscillate, or the boundary condition that has mass spring dash part. So all different kind of boundary condition. We usually 
called this kind of boundary condition, the zero displacement, this kind of boundary condition, Dirichlet boundary condition. And if there is no slope or force, then we call that is Neumann boundary condition. But the name is not important. Okay. Another interesting point Let's go far away. G, let's look at G first. Okay, dg dt. That is the velocity of right going wave. That is a cg prime. What does it mean? When the, the wave shape has a negative slope like this, As it propagates of to this distance, because G is a right going wave, the velocity of the displacement is negative, therefore it it moves half. Okay. This one actually start to move down, therefore, so that it can't go over there. Okay, this is a positive displacement, and it moved down. Sorry, it moved down because there is a minus, and this is negative. Therefore, it moved up. So this expression actually represents what physically actually happened. And H X plus C T D H D T is a C H prime. Therefore, when we have this, and it has to move this way. Okay. Question. Okay. But that is sort of extra cheap. Let's move back to the highlight of section 1.2. Section 1.2 essentially says that the one-dimensional governing equation represents entirely any possible one-dimensional wave. And actually what this means implies that if you if it's solving one dimensional wave equation is thus depends on the boundary condition. Okay? Boundary condition. There are two types of boundary condition. One is passive boundary condition like this. And the other one is active boundary condition, meaning that I am giving force or displacement. Right? Then how well we can express the boundary condition? How does boundary condition really affect the wave propagation in a stream? That is our next objective. Okay. Let's move one point section one point three. 